Hey, welcome to Wise Bites TV. This is Dean and Josh. We did um, a GPT plugin um, podcast the other day, and yep. you and I talked about how overwhelming it is for us who are trying to put in the time, right? Because there's, I don't even know, 100 plugins now. Um, so we're going to do a few of these. Hopefully, you know, bring to the masses some of these things that are awesome and useful. And so today, Josh, we are going to talk about chat chat with pdf that's what it's called right you don't chat want to say P yeah chat with gpt pdf <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of you tough. know what hey i want to bring this up before i ask people to subscribe and leave their likes and comments below i want to interject that you can tell that nerds are coming up with all these titles and it has nothing to do with marketing you know you and i are in marketing gpt chat PDF, all of this is just terrible, <laughs> terrible. But, you know, they, exactly. they're not in the branding. You know what? It's eventually something's going to come out of it branding wise. You know, like I, I heard what, like Google's got Gemini coming out. That sounds like I use Gemini. Use Gemini. Like, yeah, they're not calling it G87842B, which is probably <clears throat> what they call it in the office. <laughs> yeah, but, but Gemini was probably like focus groups and product research. Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, you got to give them, it's a plug in, right? And it's called, chat with pdf yeah i like it, it exactly works. yeah and it, it, and, it um, truly is and tell them yeah. tell them what they've won bob tell them everything <clears throat> it does because it's amazing it is amazing i've used it i don't know six times this week yeah so uh what it does first i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about uh gpt right it, it's uh, ai bard and bing right they're all good gpt you and i find a favorite is is really good like we use it a lot but you know what it's it's the vast amount of data from the world right any book without fail that I've said, hey, are you familiar with this book? And I put the, the edition and the title and the author. Yes, every single book. I'm like, give me a summary of it. Give me a couple, it, every single one, right? So it has this grand database and uh, it's useful and it's helpful. But you know what it doesn't have? Yeah, your Our, PDFs. <laughs> my, yeah, my personal data, right? Whether it's my work or life. So it takes that power and it uh, of that what it has and it moves it into being able to you know, now um, <laughs> I was going to use the word invade my personal life, but I don't look at it that way. It, I need I, I can apply it to um, my personal life. So this one is uh, chat with PDF. That's the name of it. It's a plug in and it's really good. And I'm, Josh, before we go too much, I'm just going to explain the process real quick because it was it was um, I, I had a couple problems, but it was still pretty slick and easy to overcome. Um, so what you do is there's basically two main steps. First, you provide uh, a publicly accessible URL that you can you can prompt uh, the GPT to use chat with PDF to access. Um, so you can take a PDF, upload it to your Google Docs, make the link publicly shareable. You know how there's the different you know restrict yep. this to this, right? Make it publicly shareable. Upload it. You take the URL and you chat with it. However, I continue continuously had problems where AI is like, I, I can't access this. Are you sure it's right? And I've done this a million times, but I still checked, you know, uh, a half dozen times. Um, and it, it, I kept getting error. But at the same time, it's giving me the error. It's like, hey, if you're still getting an error, try this. And so uh, chat with GPT, uh, chat with P, uh, PDF has some other little tool. It's this, I've never even seen it before. It's this temporary upload. So yeah, you go I upload a PDF. Oh, you do? That's never use it before. That's what I have. Yeah, yeah. 60 minutes, it deletes it, right? It gets rid of it. Um, so anyway, I did that. I grabbed the URL, I plugged it in there, um, and it was there, you know, my PDF. And so Josh, I took, um, and we'll talk about it in a minute. I took the unicorn path by Bart Dunn, right? That book uh, that we're both yep. familiar yep. with. I took, cause I have a PDF version and I uploaded, uh, uploaded on there and it, it was great. So before we, uh, get there, I just wanted to. Kind of give an overview of like okay so what do you chat with a pdf what does that mean and it's like well you can ask it to summarize you can ask it to analyze right you ask it to rewrite you can ask it to <laughs> proofread you can ask mm -hmm. it to yeah uh, the proofreading is unbelievable i mean it just yeah so okay it, so good i didn't think of it that way to, you're looking at it to, from we used to play pay editors and proofreaders and now <laughs> you know but you're yeah. looking at it from the owner of the PDF, like the, yes. you're the writer, right? I, I was looking at it as as a consumer of that information. Like, what can I get at? But you're right. So 
So you can say, hey, uh, proofread this or rewrite this, or you can give it context, right? Say, hey, this is too stuffy. I wanna be, I wanna be exciting and persuasive. Rewrite it in that manner, right? From the consumer of it, this is what I've done several times with stuff. I'm like, um, analyze this, give me the main talking points. And I'm like, yeah. tell me more about um, this talking point. But then the thing is, um, Josh, is um, you can, this is the thing that, that you and I constantly try and uh, re remind people of. What's in the name? Chat. Yeah. Right? Exactly. What, what, does that, what does that mean? It, what it means is talk to it like it's a friend like it's hard converse with it like like you were talking to a buddy or a person this is think of it like your personal assistant and like a, a friend of yours that's an asset that you're asking a question so people have this they think about the it's funny i wish people would think before they talk to me a lot more often it's myself included i'm terrible at it i just blurt things out but when you go to do these searches or when you go to do these chats, you don't, you don't, you still think the Google way. You're like, mm -hmm. where can I find, you know, and it's like, yeah, we become the robots. Yeah. We're we become robotic, the robots. You know, yeah. Find me Italian restaurant, Scottsdale. Yeah. Right? Um, and, and you know what's funny? I think as these AIs switch over to voice command, which most of them have a voice prompt now. Um, now that especially uh, ChatGPT has the the plugin for iPhones, and I, have they caught up to you guys yet? <laughs> Do they have the uh, the <clears throat> your phone app yet? I know they were working. Oh on no, it. no, Android, Android, no, it doesn't have the app. Yeah, yet. but on so I literally can just talk to it. Like I literally was asking it to. I was out at my pool pump asking ChatGPT instead of I used to Google the manual. Wait, wait a minute, you were out at your pool pump? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, you're, so you're on your pump. phone. So I was okay. out by my pool pump was bro broke. So I literally, how I would have normally addressed this is I would have went to Google. I would have got the PDF of the instruction manual. I would have came back to my desk, looked for troubleshooting and all this. Instead, I just went right to ChatGPT and talked to it like it was the electrician or the plumber. And I said, yes. hey, I got a model HP 25 Jandy pool pump. It's not working. The, the, the symptoms are this, 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 and this. And it gave me five scenarios of solutions and told me where the reset button was. <clears throat> And, and the, the power of it is you're just chatting. And then a yes. lot of times when you ask a question, forget about chat GPT, we're just, you're just having a conversation. I ask you something or whatever. I'm like, oh, I kind of asked that wrong or I, I misstated or I missed the part. And so a conversation evolves. You, you yeah. say something, you add to the conversation and then I, you know, it's called encoding and decoding, right? You, you know, and then I, you know, decode it and then I, you know, send you something back and forth and, and it evolves. Use it that way because it's going to, it's going to take you on a, on a, on a chat with G, chat with PDF journey. GPT PDF. GPT, GPT PDF. Right, so Josh, I'm, I'm popping Remember up. boys and girls, GPT PDF. GTPTP, I can't even do it, dude. All right, so I'm going to pop up a couple screenshots here of the chat that um, I had, the chat with PDF that I had with um, Unicorn Principal uh, Bart's book. Um, so I asked it, I'm like, hey, can you analyze this book? Give me a couple talking points, right? And then it gave me, and then it, you know, gave me some. And, and I asked it a few questions, and the screenshots will show the actual prompts and the actual answers. Uh, but then after I was done like working, Josh, and like recording, recording my screenshots for this, I just had a conversation with it, right? And I just kept going. And I'm like, oh, okay, how can I apply that? This is a problem I'm having, right? With the, an employee not, you know, uh, producing. How can I, you know, use these principles? Because that's what it is. It's an employee first kind of thing. Yeah. Um, how can I use these principles to empower, but still get, you know, thing I, <laughs> dude, I'm just having this conversation, right? And I could have asked Bart that, right? Sitting with the author, yeah. I could have sat, but I had his, I had the Bart PDF, I didn't need to. And it yeah. was right there. So how many PDFs are at your fingertips right now? Yeah. That you can do this with? Yeah, that's exactly. I, I'm so excited about that. Again, I talk about going down wormholes. Once I used this one for a work project, I was like, oh my gosh, I have so many PDFs of things I was working on that I would love to like, you know, like, and I'm like, don't do it, don't do it, don't start, but it's coming. Okay, so with that, that's basically our sec, uh, number two of three sections that we have is some use cases. So yeah. I just said a book, 
you said something, dude, I didn't think about, but it's brilliant, is take an instructional manual for something that's, you know, complex and have that, you know, that conversation. Oh yeah, versus searching for keywords in something or you're like, oh, where's the troubleshooting section and where's this? Just mm -hmm. say, what are the troubleship, you know, what are the troubleshooting steps for this device? Yeah. And, and it just, it spells it Dude, out. You know what I'm going to try? Because I just thought of it from what you said. I've looked up stuff for my Wrangler in, and I have the PDF of the manual, which is this big, you know, monster manual. Yeah. Um, but I can't find half the stuff, right? I just can't find, I have the PDF, so I could do like a control F keyword search. But every word I'm searching for, there's 20,000 of them in there. Exactly. And it's not helping. But I'm going to upload the PDF and I'm going to have the conversation and try it that way. Yep. I'll see what yeah. that does. Yeah. All right. Um, so I bet everybody's uh, going to their PDFs right now. <laughs> uh, I know. And it, and it's and it's easy, right? Go do it. It'll take a couple minutes to figure out, like, oh, I got to upload PDF. I got to put in this command. After you do it, it's second nature. It's done deal. Uh, exactly. and so it's really good. No, I was just going to say, I hope people really go check this out right now. Use it, you know, and I hope you enjoy these videos because we have so many more to get to. I think last you said there was a hundred now plugins, you know, and it's just, yeah. Dude, that was so yeah. old. That was like 20 minutes ago. I was going to say that I think there were 20 the first two weekends ago when I first started playing with them and now uh -huh. there's over a hundred. So it's probably 200. So I'm going to add to that. So if it's a hundred or 200, whatever, uh, me and you are trying to go through them and we want, want to make some quick videos, which we never do. <laughs> we yeah. don't have the ability to make a quick video, but we want to try to make some quick videos and some. So uh, please share ones with us that you think are helpful or you're confused or you want to learn more. Yeah. Get another perspective. Actually, yeah. Tell us which ones you want us to review as well. You know, that would be fantastic. We'll do it for you. And yeah. you only have to listen to 11 minutes and then you could have just <laughs> GPT PDF it and then you would. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you. If you guys like this, you know, Steph, come back. Please come back. Visit us again. <laughs> Subscribe and uh, comment. Say you like thank it. You. And yeah, and we're out of here. You know what to do. All right. Thanks, everybody.